Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Belmont brand pineapple upside down cake and the caramel sea salt cake. Belmont is an Aldi brand, so these were $3.49 each at Aldi, and you get two desserts in each uh, a box. So these are in the frozen department. You keep them frozen, and you are going, we'll talk about uh, the characteristics of each one once we've made them, but you, you can make these in the regular oven or in the microwave. We are going to microwave them, and you want to microwave them one at a time. So uh, you remove the cake from plastic film, place cake right side up in its cup on a microwave safe dish microwave on high for 50 to 60 seconds let's stand for two minutes and then you flip it over on your your plate so you get two desserts like this that's your pineapple upside down cake and your sea salt caramel there's your sea salt caramel so if you take the plastic off And there's how it looks and so uh, we are going to get these in the microwave and then when we uh, pull them out we'll wait two minutes but then when we come back uh, we'll flip them over for you so you can see how they look when you flip them over okay it's been two minutes here's your pineapple upside down cake and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this caramel one over too I'm assuming it'll there we go. Ooh. That's pretty good at all came out. Yeah. You could use those uh, con these containers if your daughter um, or son has a, like a play kitchen in their room. Um, I know when Andrew was little, he used to have a play kitchen. And um, these would be good. This would be something as a mom that I would keep for the kids to play in their kitchen. So we'll take these over to the table and give them a try. So if you want to uh, bake these in the oven, you have to wait, uh, you have to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then you have to heat them for 14 to 16 minutes and then wait uh, one to two to flip it over. So I, do, I don't know why you would do that. Um, unless you just didn't own a microwave. Unless you didn't own a microwave, yeah, because if you can cook it in uh, how long? 55 seconds? Yeah, 55 is what I do. Why wouldn't you? That's Because uh, all you're doing is heating them up. It's not like you're cooking. Exactly, meat. exactly. Uh, this is delicious scratch made brown sugar sponge cake in a rich caramel sauce with a hint of sea salt. It sounds so good. It is 510 calories for one cake. It's a pretty good size cake. It though. is a very good size cake. Um, you just need to. To be aware, I like to tell you, it looks very uh, moist. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you get to it? Mm. <laughs> that piece is not going to be mm -mm. I keep dropping it. Oh, that's that's nice. I like the flavor of the the cake itself and the caramel. The cake, really, really good. the cake is almost tastes to me like a spice cake. Yeah, it does have a little bit of spice. That's what I wanted to just to buy the cake. Yeah. Uh, brown, it says brown sugar sponge cake, but, um, mm -hmm. well, it does it's have not, cinnamon. It does. That's what it is. It if has, you get just a piece of the cake, though, it's not as spiced as you think it, it is. It has a cinnamon in it. Yeah, and you pick that up. And I, I pick it up, yeah. But it's not as spiced as, as it first seems. No, it doesn't taste as spiced without that right. caramel with yeah, it. Yeah, you kind of add the That's caramel, the salt, I guess the sea salt and the cinnamon add together. But it's really good. It's, it's an excellent delicious. Part. It's it's a very, very moist and fresh. Good and um, sweet, but not overly sweet. Yes. Um, which is good because some people don't like an overly sweet thing. You would think with all that caramel, it would be super, super sweet. You would think not. for 510 calories, it would be yeah. too sweet. I mean, it is sweet, not. trust me, but it's not like It's overly. not, yeah, it's not like we've had stuff that's like over the top sweet. Mm -hmm. And this is really a, the perfect balance, it is. isn't it? It is. It's a, it's a it's nice very nice. Very good. Okay, so then we have the pineapple upside down cake. Moist, buttery sponge cake topped with a pineapple ring and drenched in a rich brown sugar sauce. This one is only 410 calories, so a whole hundred calories fewer uh, than the first one. 
Det kører bare dyrere for dig nu. I'm waiting to you develop the flavors before I say something. Okay. I think that's really good. It's an excellent pineapple upside down cake. The flavors are a little lighter. I can devour home. the whole thing. Yeah, the flavors are a little lighter, but they should be. Mm -hmm. So that's not a bad thing. Just know that the flavors are not as bold as the caramel. And the right. caramel is like really strong. These are more of a, a lighter um, pineapple f just flavor. It's just really, really good. Yes. That uh, it is delicious. Mm -hmm. um, we recently, not well, not re we, not too long ago, had a homemade pineapple upside down cake. Yeah. How would you compare this to that? Pre day on class. It's it's very good. <laughs> Actually, I think this is even moisture than that one was. The homemade one was. Oh really? Yeah. I was thinking that one might have been sweeter. It might have been a little sweeter. But um, I really like this and I love I like this too. I love pineapple upside down cake anyway. I always have even since I was a little kid. I've never made one. I need to make one. See my mom used to make at least one a year. And my mom never, mm -hmm. I don't think my mom ever in our life ever made a pineapple. Oh really? No. It has to and you have to make sure you get plenty of the syrup, the juice, the sauce, whatever on it. We're gonna have to make one have because make I, one. I haven't done it. But it's really good and I like it that the pineapple is cooked well. So it's still, it's warm, but it's very tender. So when you cut it, it cuts right through. I mean, it's yes, just, there was no trouble at all. It's very, very, very good. So if you like pineapple upside down cake, you can't go wrong. It's Which one good. would you choose? Pineapple. I would too. I would too. Even, even, even though the caramel is really, it's really delicious good. delicious and moist. And it's a little, it's a little stronger flavor, but I like that freshness of the pineapple. I do too. I love pineapple. Pineapple and bananas is one of my favorite fruits. Yeah. So. And uh, you could put a little ice cream on the side of this or whipped cream on the top or something. You could. You don't need to at all. No, but no. You, if you saying, wanted to dress it up, you could. Yeah. If you want yeah. to dress it up or add a little bit of that creamy texture and that creamy flavor, um, you could put a little whipped cream on top if you wanted to. Yes, but these are a very, very good quality. So if you put are cherry right in the middle of it. shopping at Aldi and you see these, don't They're be good. afraid to get them. They're very, very good quality. So I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.